News. First tonight, Saipan took a direct hit from Typhoon Sotolar. They are without power and without water. Numerous homes have been damaged. Some homes have been destroyed. Brad Rosala called into K57's breakfast show with Ray Gibson this morning to describe the damage. I've been walking for the last uh, mile and a half uh, with my partner who's actually driving. I'm photographing everything. And it's almost too much to, uh, to take in. Commonwealth Utilities Corporation spokesman Brad Rosala called into K57's breakfast show with Ray Gibson this morning saying that Typhoon Sautelor flipped cars, downed trees and power poles, and damaged homes when it passed directly over the island at about 11 p.m. last night. A huge amount of our infrastructure is just gone, Ray. Roadways are blocked and there is no power and no water on Saipan. All these power poles snapped in half, <laughs> fallen into buildings uh, and like, crossing over the road. We've also had some damage uh, to our power plant. Now, we haven't been able to assess that completely yet. Now that it, the light's starting to come up, we're going to have a good, uh, we're gonna have, uh, good opportunity to go through and check it out. But right now, uh, we're not going to have power for some time. National Weather Service forecaster Mike Middlebrook tells PNC that Saipan was likely hit by winds in excess of 100 miles per hour. However, it's not clear exactly how powerful the winds were because the wind measuring equipment called an anometer broke. Before it broke, the equipment recorded 91 mile per hour winds. Rosala says it's been at least 15 years since Saipan has been hit from a typhoon like this. A lot of people weren't expecting it because we've been spoiled. Uh, ever since, uh, well, for, for the last 15 years, we've been uh, teased with uh, typhoons that uh, were just close, or banana, banana typhoons. Even the big ones didn't come close enough uh, to Saipan, at least. Meanwhile, Governor Eddie Calvo and Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio have reached out to the CNMI to see what is needed. The Lieutenant Governor's office is organizing a boot drive to raise funds for Saipan. The drive will be held on August 7th and on August the 14th at Guam's major intersections from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m.